Hey everyone, it's Michelle McKinney with Next Home in Palm Coast, and we're gonna be talking about the cost of living in Palm Coast, Florida. So if this is your first time coming across my channel, go ahead and click the like button, subscribe, and the little bell notification down below so you never miss any of the videos that we upload talking about what it's like to live here in Palm Coast. Let's get started. Cost of living in Palm Coast. So one of the most frequently asked questions that I get about living here, and as far as cost goes, is what are your property taxes? Yeah, they wanna know what the property tax rate is. So in Palm Coast, our property tax rate is 0.78%, so 0.78% of your assessed value. So your assessed value is what the property appraiser says your home is worth compared to the other homes around it, right? Minus any exemptions that you might have. And that is your assessed value that they can tax you on. That's what they use, that final number um, times the you know 0.78% to come up with your taxes for the year. Okay, so let's talk about exemptions. You heard me bring that up when I was talking about your property tax rate. We do have exemptions for your property taxes in the state of Florida, which is amazing, right? So there's a couple of different, well, there's actually more than a couple, there's, there's several different uh, tax exemptions that you can go down to the property appraiser's web, uh, office and file for once you, you know, purchase your home here in Florida. Now, the, the most common exemption is your homestead exemption. So you've bought a home in Florida, it's gonna be your primary residence, you fill out all the necessary paperwork and you take it down to the property appraiser, CJ down there, and get everything taken care of. What that's going to do is automatically take $50,000 off of your assessed value and then they're going to assess that property tax rate. So you definitely don't want to forget to file for your homestead when you buy a house in Florida. You have until the end of the year to file for homestead. If you miss that cutoff, you have to wait in the whole year to, to go and file for homestead and then you won't get it. Into, well, I mean, you can file on January 1st, but you're not gonna get the exemption until the end of the year. Um, so it's imperative, as soon as you buy your house here, go to the property appraiser's office and file for your homestead exemption. Now, a few of the other exemptions that we have are the widow and widower exemption. It's $500 off of your taxes for the year. Um, there's a disabled exemption. You get the same $500 off your taxable value for the year. And um, if you're blind, if you're blind, it's $500 off your taxable value. And um, if you're a veteran, right? If you um, are a vet and you have any level of disability from the military, you get a certain uh, ex exemption based on that level of disability, that percentage. And some veterans, you know, to thank them for their service and what they had to go through for our country, they're able to have 100% exemption from their property taxes. The other 100% exemption on property taxes is for the frontline first responders um, that maybe have been injured in the line of duty and they're you know disabled from serving us in our community, uh, taking care of the things that keep us all safe. They are eligible for 100% exemption on their property taxes. So there's, there's a few things that you can look into um, as far as that is concerned. So uh, go ahead and you know make a visit to the Property Pairs' website. I might include the link down in the description somewhere if you'd like a reference for that. I'll go ahead and drop that down there so you can take a look around. Um, so let's talk about some of the other things in the area as far as cost of living is concerned. Another major question that I'm asked is, you know, what are the um, utility rates like there? So our uh, electric bills for your average like 2,500, 3,000 square foot home here in Palm Coast, you're probably going to look at about an average of $108 a month, um, depending on how old your home is. 
there are several people that have had newer homes built that their electric bills are you know less than a hundred dollars a month and there are people that have homes here that are a bit older maybe they have single pane windows in the home they haven't updated those yet their electric bill is going to run a little bit higher and it also you know comes into play with what kind of hvac system you have i mean it's florida it's hot <laughs> you're gonna be running your AC a lot during the summer so the best way to go about it is you know I've, I've given you the average but we are on average charged well here in Palm Coast the average is 10.4 cents per kilowatt and that's actually 12.46 uh, percent less than the national average so while we're not the best necessarily as far as our um, electricity rates go we're definitely not the worst and I mean come on it's Florida so water so we have our water sewer and garbage all in one utility bill we pay that to Palm Coast Utilities and there's base charges for that so for your garbage it's going to be a base of $45.52 for your garbage and that's your what your water waste your water waste and your garbage it's forty five dollars and fifty two cents for your water base it's also a base of forty five dollars and fifty two cents so and then the rates depending on how much usage you're you're using with your water um, that is like four dollars and ninety three cents um, per thousand gallons up to five thousand gallons and then once you go from like 5,001 gallons all the way up to 10,000 gallons you're charged at I think it's like almost six dollars a gallon it goes up a little bit but I mean if, you, if you're using over 10,000 gallons a month we need to have a discussion because <laughs> we need to talk about your water usage <laughs> but um, your average water bill is, is probably going to run anywhere between 110 to 130 dollars depending on how many people you have in your house how much laundry you're doing um, I know for me, myself, I have five people in my home, a dog, we do a lot of laundry, um, I've got kids, so I'm having to wash them up frequently, and our water bill runs about $123 a month. Sales tax. <clears throat> Let's talk about sales tax in the state of Florida. So here in our area, the sales tax is 7%. It's 6% that goes to the state, and then 1% stays in the county. The city doesn't take any on sales tax. So 6% goes to the state of Florida and 1% goes to the county of Flagler. Now, when it comes to food in the grocery store, we don't have sales tax on our food here. So you go shopping, you're not paying sales tax on the food, it's exempt. Gas prices. Okay, let's talk gas prices. Now, you know this is a topic, like this is gonna change, okay? So <laughs> I'm just gonna make this very clear. As of right now, today in may 2021 gas prices are from 269 to 271. it'll probably change on my way home i don't know but as of right now <laughs> may of 2021 gas prices range between 269 a gallon and 271 a gallon okay so what if you have kids right I mean, a lot of people retire to Florida, but you know, there's, there's us younger folk that like to live here too. And uh, we've got kids and we, we need things like childcare. And what if we wanna send them to private school? What does that look like here? So in Palm Coast, the average price for childcare is gonna run you about $625 a month. Now, if you have more than one child enrolled at the same place, you're gonna get a family discount. They usually take that discount off of the oldest child, of course, because they're the ones that's typically a little bit less expensive. So you get a discount off of the oldest child. And then of course, every additional family member that comes there, they, they get another discount. Uh, that same thing kind of goes for private schools in the area. So we have a couple of private schools and the average for tuition, yearly tuition per child for the private schools is around $7,000. There are scholarships available at both private schools, so you can apply for those scholarships. Obviously, most people are going to be trying to apply for those, so the earlier you get in, the better. 
And um, just like the childcare aspect, the private school, you know, the more kids you add on from the same family, you're going to be getting a little bit of a discount off of each one that you send to the school. So the private schools here range from kindergarten through eighth grade. We don't have any private schools that are high school. So um, kindergarten through eighth grade, there's a couple of private schools that you can look into if that's something that you're interested in. All right, so if you're interested in any of those private schools, I'll have some of those uh, links down below so you can check them out and get a good feel for what's available here in Palm Coast. If you're interested in learning more about our city utilities, I'm gonna have a link down below in the description, so that'll take you right to our city utilities page and you can get all the information that you'd like to have right there. There's actually all kinds of really cool tools on the Property Appraisers website. So I'm gonna leave that link down below in the description so you can visit that website. And any questions that you have about it, please feel free to call me, that's what I'm here for. It is a very useful website. There's so many things on there that you can do. There's no way you're gonna be able to figure all of them out in just one setting. So definitely utilize me to answer your questions when it comes to that website. All right, that wraps up our video for today, talking about the cost of living. I'm sure there are many, many topics that I didn't touch on in this video, talking about cost and, and things like that. But if you have anything in particular that you are interested in finding out more information on, let me know. I'm happy to go over those things with you. You can always call me. Uh, again, this is what I love to do every day is talk to people about what it's like to live here in Palm Coast. And again, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell notification down below so you can keep in contact with me and never miss a beat on what it's like to live in Palm Coast. See you later.